Hello, cat boys. Don't worry, there's no anime in it. I don't know why the menu is so fancy and has this fading effect. I don't understand. I feel like I'm playing Total War. At least the text goes off this page, so I don't have to feel too bad about how good this looks. As you can see here, there's a map on the right side that shows you what country you're going to select. I'm guessing there are four choices right now, including the bad one and the German one, though I'm gonna play as the Navy. As you can see here, the map is near completely relegated to Japan. And again, there's no anime, I promise. I definitely like the menu UI, but the division UI makes me want to cry. I guess if you zoom in really close, it's not as bad. Seriously, this mod is a UI with a mod behind it. Every country has a leader and a second in command. Several mods do this. I recognize a few from vanilla, like there's Hirohito, this guy, who I, I can't remember where I know him from, but I've seen him before. And then democratic Japanese leader guy. We also, instead of capped on divisions, were capped on battalions. That's kind of bizarre, but oh well. Oh, and look who I found. It's America and Roosevelt. Mr. Roosevelt, the famous president of American Okinawa. Oh, and I found France and Britain. They're both here too. Quite excellent. Also, the holy order of the are attacking the a very fun battle already. We'll look forward to see who wins probably shogun it. Technology though is, is normal. Besides the feathers or flower petals and the fact that these buttons are extremely ominous and glowing. Oh, and here's the Netherlands. Of course, <laughs> they're here too. And then here's Germany, which has its own focus tree, I think. Or maybe this is the generic one. I don't know. No, this definitely isn't. <laughs> so yep, you can play as America, Germany, France, and Britain in this Japan only mod. <laughs> and the Netherlands. And of course the Soviets, they're up here. They're the more normal major country to exist in this mod here. And unfortunately, we do not start with any field marshals, so we'll have to promote one later, or maybe get one through a focus. As for decisions, we have to deal with 100% crippling depression. Oh, here's Portugal too. I almost forgot about them. They control Nagasaki. I like how we have this flavor event with no text. <laughs> very flavorful. I guess I don't get very many flavor events without text. So it is a, a certain kind of flavor. Wow, and this is the first isolated mod in which the rest of the world still exists, but it's it exists in the form of a different map game. That's uh, exciting. Um, I've always wanted a separate pseudo map game inside of my map game. <laughs> this is what Hoi4 modding is all about. And I'm excited that this mod features a hot love story between the Japanese army and navy in Japan, in vanilla, and in most mods. It highlights the rivalry between the army and the navy. But today we are going to be friends with the army like we always wanted to be truly, but just couldn't admit to ourselves the truth of the situation. We may get flustered, but we will push forward. Can't wait to obliterate the Netherlands. I just hate them. We also are in a terrible situation. We have nowhere near the number of resources we need to keep our production going. We have so many military factories and it's just unreasonable to trade tons away to the Germans like this. We really need to unite with our lovers in the, the military and get their steel. Well, at least we know this is happening. The world hasn't changed too much here. Will it show us on this? Probably not. Oh, here's where we can see the Spanish Civil War and we can even get involved with it and send weapons if we want, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm sure there's some benefit to it. I just really don't care. Anyways, to continue on, we need to have enough support for our faction and having enough support doesn't require us to increase our current support by that much so we just need to get it five percent higher then we can do this new focus to unlock some new decisions and then use those decisions to eventually do the joint military exercises focus past that we have to continue to increase support for our faction and then eventually we can unite with the military once and for all and it'll be very cute and wholesome etc etc oh we have a truce with the Netherlands until 41. Interesting. So 
why is the provisional government of Japan guaranteed by America? Well, the shogunate fell apart, and this is a very massive civil war filled with many more Japans. This is getting very, very complicated. So Japan is divided, but now the central part of Japan has divided itself again. So we're having civil wars inside of civil wars. Also, the same thing is happening here too. And yeah, right now we're about a year into the game and there's 6% world tension. We have 16 usable sibs right now and we're going to unlock unification decisions soon. We'll see. So war in Spain continues. Thanks for the update. Okay, well, this is unfortunate. We're starting to fall apart a little bit. We've lost one state. Hopefully more aren't to follow because I would prefer to have as much of this entire territory of the military and navy consolidated into one country as possible. But we will wait a few days before starting a focus so we can do begin political unification. Once we do that, we can start a focus and then we have days saved up so it'll put us into negative political power but then we won't have wasted any time. The agents are invisible. You can still assign invisible agents simply by clicking on them on the map. You just can't click their portrait. Trip. Okay, and it's time for the fight to start. I don't know when this event will auto finish seven days So we'll give our division seven days to get into position and for some planning bonus to build up and then they shouldn't be too strong I don't think uh, they may have a decent amount of divisions. This is not going to be easy We don't have any plans but we do have the Navy because we're quite literally are playing as the Navy right now. So let's see, we will not be divided. Oh, and the military is helping us because they've guaranteed us. So they're helping stop our rebellion. That's very wholesome, <laughs> though our focus was canceled. We'll now have a non-aggression pact just to prove how much we care about each other. So now we'll cancel this focus and then go back to that other focus. Hopefully there's no more rebellions. Otherwise I might take a break from doing these focuses that are gonna keep canceling. And now the political unification is done. We have cores on every single state of theirs. So we will now do this decision to begin naval unification, then do this focus for naval unification. And then I think we should be able to unite. Oh yeah, I guess we're in a faction too now. I just noticed that. Oh, I didn't realize this existed, but all these small islands are their own country or faction in this? Weird. So here it is, the United Juntas. We get a small, I guess we get a small civil war and we also get a small negative spirit because of the sudden union. But we will deal with <laughs> these attackers. That's kind of the end of our focus tree. Though if we delete our faction, I believe we can make a faction through a focus with Hirohito and then unlock a few more focuses. And the army has a lot of divisions. <laughs> well, obviously they quite literally are the army. So unifying with the navy will make them pretty strong in terms of Hoi 4 because it's a game about war and we control the army and the navy. I feel like this is gonna be very easy for us, but I can't say for certain. And the Republicans won in Spain, I think. Didn't doesn't say Spain specifically, but I don't know what other context that would be. Oh, and it's peace in our time time. I'm happy I'm happy these things are still in the mod. I guess we'll slowly watch as Germany expands. Okay, so we we can't actually do the faction with Imperial Japan. That was a different path and I was confused, but we did demand Nagasaki and we got it, so that is convenient. We can now build a university there, get another research slot. I think we only have, we have three right now, so then that'll be a fourth. We just got our third from the focus above it. I guess now we will work towards appointing a new cabinet to get rid of inefficient government. So after we finish Nagasaki University, we'll do that. I'm already doing a decision here, the improved worker conditions one to get more stability, this focus will give us even more and then we should have the 60% to do this focus. We'll see and then I don't think we can really do anything. I think that's the end. <laughs> well, uh, almost the end. We can still wait until we're declared on and then fight whoever attacks us or once we get to 100% world tension then we can justify war. Oh and I did not realize this until now but we're actually paying Portugal for their port city. I kind of thought demanding it meant that we were just gonna demand it, but I should have read the event name. Either way, I don't care. It's such a small amount for a good city. Beautiful Vichy France 
and Britain are at war with each other. Will these two guys do anything? I don't know. They both have quite a few divisions and factories, so potentially. For some reason, the Allies have taken control of Austria. I don't understand the mini game that they're playing here. <laughs> I hope they're having a fun time though. We've about justified on the fascist Japan, so we're going to invade them now. I just realized I, I got the army's navy too. I forgot to integrate that into my navy, but I guess we can have two separate navies. The army's navy and the navy's navy as their own independent navy. Okay guys, it's time for us to do our maneuver. The democratic vanilla guy is about to lose, which is sad, but oh well. It's time that we take this last island and then we can form southern Japan. Oh no, we can't get naval supremacy. Okay, so I've had to block off these regions to avoid raiding, but now we're getting good supply over here. I don't quite think we can battle plan. Maybe we can. No. So we'll just hold our positions here and wait a little while longer. We technically outnumber them. I don't know why we're doing so bad. I guess maybe just misallocation of resources. At least made an encirclement. I'm, I'm just kind of not used to the UI yet, so I feel like my microing skills are a little bit impaired. But if we can attack these two, groups and push them to the sea, then we should be able to win. Okay, well, things were kind of bad here, but we have turned the convoy rating on after defeating their navies, so they're not gonna do so well after this. And we naval invaded this port, so this port is their last port they have in this little enclave. So if we can push them out of here, they're done for. And <laughs> they didn't put up much of a fight there, so now we just have to hold it. And then we will do the same thing with this. We just have to take this port, this port, this port, and then if we take this port, these two ports won't be connected. Okay, and we finally capitulated them. I was having a very difficult time breaking into Germany's capital in Japan, but I kind of forgot that they weren't a major, so oh, uh, we win. The British and the Netherlands did help us out though, which was kind of wholesome. I wasn't really expecting that. But now they're gonna take stuff and it's gonna be annoying <laughs> and I'm gonna have to declare on them. Yeah, this World War II was really bizarre. Okay, so we declared on Britain and the Netherlands and took that one state they took in the peace deal. So now we can unite the South and get cores on everything. So now we're the administration of South Japan and our cores should update when the day passes. Now we are very, very powerful. Also the Soviets are worth China too. So I guess that's what they get to do. But that's all for today. I could unite all of Japan, but I don't know if there's really that much more content. <laughs> Maybe. Either way, that's all for today. Day. Bye.